Hello, today I'd like to show you how I do um, some of the simple embroidery that I use when I'm doing red work stitchery. So I'm going to show you today how to do some stem stitch. Um, but just to quickly recap, I have done a, a video previously that shows you how I how to get started with um, red work stitchery and I've shown you about using a fabric and a um, stabiliser on the back and I use a water erasable marking pen if I'm marking a design. I've got some scissors, I use some stranded embroidery thread, I usually use two strands, I've got an embroidery needle that I use and away I go. So today we're just going to have a little look at how to do some stem stitch. Stem stitch is a really good outline stitch, obviously good for stems and things, but uh, any form of outlining works really well with stem stitch. So I usually start off with a little knot on the back and I would come up um, and I would go a little a reasonable distance for my stitch and I do a little tiny stitch coming back towards where the threads come out. So just a small one and pull that through. So you want your thread away from you, the needle ahead but pointing backwards towards where your thread's coming out, a little tiny stitch and pull it through. You can see as you continue on you don't really see that that's a stitch coming back, it just ends up forming a nice line. Okay, so thread away from you, needle pointing back towards the thread, little tiny stitch and pull it through. So that's how I do my stem stitch. It uh, is a great stitch, I use it a lot. I prefer this to some of the other stitches that are available. And I, you can go around curves, you can do all sorts of things with this stitch. You can use it of course for other colours, it doesn't have to always be red work. Um, but it forms, um, in my opinion, a very nice line of stitching there. So I can show you shortly an example where I've used stem stitch fairly extensively. Um, I'll just mention that I've done a free downloadable stitch guide on my website, gourmetquilter.com, where you can just go and download that um, if you'd like to. And now I'll just show you quickly an example of a quilt where I've used the stem stitch. So this is one of my quilts. This is uh, Ted and Dog, who are very good friends. They like to do lots of things together. And uh, I've done a lot of, uh, nearly all the outlining on this quilt has been done with red work. In particular, all the writing along the borders has been done um, using the stem stitch for all of that. So it's, it's quite versatile, it can go around fairly tight corners, you can do it smaller or larger, um, but keeping it fairly consistent helps and you just work your way around the, the tight bends and things like that. So um, I have done a pattern for this quilt, just in case you're interested, it's called Ted and Dog and it's available to purchase and download on my website gourmetquilter.com um, and it just has the whole quilt in there with all the patterns and things. So I just thought I'd show you how to do the stem stitch, um, a very versatile stitch. Thank you.